What's up, guys? Your girl Luca here, back with another video, and we're going to be discussing how Dwayne The Rock Johnson apparently uh, kneecapped Shazam. But before we get into that, if I can ask you guys to please hit the like button, it would be much appreciated. So, uh, if we all know Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know, a famous wrestler, you know, actor. I'm not going to say great actor. I do enjoy a couple of his films, I'm not going to lie, but uh, actor. <laughs> and he uh, recently starred as Black Adam in the Black Adam film. Which was okay. It was an okay film. I wouldn't, uh, you know what? I would say, me personally, it's just my personal opinion. You're free to dis disagree, but I did think Black Adam was significantly better than Shazam Fury of the Gods, which was trash, in my opinion. I think that movie is garbage, in my opinion, in my opinion, just my opinion, right? So, anyway, uh, Dwayne Johnson apparently kneecapped Black Adam and Shazam 2 while trying to take over DC, which that is a very, uh, that is a very, very hostile um, header, and I'm really interested to get into it. So this is by Scott Mendelson and Umberto Gonzalez. So in The Rock's attempt to position himself as the center of the universe, he vetoed a post credit scene featuring Zachary Levi's character, Insider Say. So um, the first thing I want to say, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Uh, Zachary Levi showing up as Shazam and Black Adam would not have done anything. It wouldn't have done anything to make that film better, in my opinion. Uh, you know, because I personally, again, this is all personal. Personally speaking, I don't really like Zachary Levi as Shazam. I don't like him as Billy Batson. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. And that was especially highlighted in Shazam Fury of the Gods, uh, which I found his portrayal to be extremely cringe. And I just, I didn't like it at all. Okay. But you know what? That movie... That movie has a lot of issues, in my opinion. So, you know, I, I don't really think it would have made much of a difference. But I will say this. I think that The Rock even having the ability to veto that and being like, oh, no, I don't want him to appear, even though Black Adam is Shazam's main villain, is absolutely insane and really does speak to this sense of arrogance. Like, what? Why would you? First of all, having a Black Adam movie by itself in the first place is kind of like do we really need this? You know what I'm saying? Especially, like, as a film, I mean, he was definitely, I mean, spoilers for Black Adam, he was definitely murdering folks up in that, up in that film. And he wasn't necessarily positioned as a hero, so to speak, but he was considered to he a hero to some people, you know? And I don't know, it's, it's just like one of these things where it's kind of shaky ground, but a Black Adam film did not need, need to be made, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, Here's the thing, and I'm glad that they are highlighting this. Like, DC has a bunch of problems that are not Johnson's fault, you know, which is why way uh, Warner Brothers is Discovery is attempting to reboot under James Gunn and Peter Safran. But, um, you know, but in trying to shape Black Adam as a new center of the DC universe, which is what he was, like, aiming for. I really do think that's what he was trying to do. Like... Oh, and I'm definitely not paying for that. Which is what I definitely think that's what he was trying to do. It, it just wasn't... <laughs> It just wasn't hitting like it was supposed to hit. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly, I don't know what he could have been thinking in that. Especially considering, like, most people don't know who Black Adam is. Most people did not know who Shazam was until the Shazam movie, you know? Most, like, for, when you think of DC characters that are popular, you think of obviously Superman, obviously Batman, and then Wonder Woman. Like, Shazam... Even uh, the Green Lanterns, people are kind of, like, mm, shaky about that, especially after Ryan uh, Reynolds' portrayal. Like, people don't really know these characters, so I think it's absolutely insane that he even put himself in that position to come off as the center of said universe, especially with the premature handling of uh, Henry Cavill returning as Superman, which I am still extremely disappointed about that. But yeah, I just, I, uh, I I think a lot of this stuff is really weird on his part. And again, I just, I don't know what he could have been thinking. <laughs> I don't know what he could have been thinking. So we're gonna, most people are kind of like, oh, The Rock was on an ego stroking marathon. That's why Batista is a more talented actor. I mean, I guess we're going, uh, which wrestlers can outdo, you know, we got John Cena, Batista, and uh, The Rock. I think we have some other wrestlers who are actors too. I don't know. But anyway, you know, I just, again, I think it's really unfortunate that, um, I think it's really unfortunate that he even, again, he even had the ability to say no. Like, who gave him that power? Who was just like, yeah, no, he can uh, veto his appearance. And uh, if we, listen, 
Oh, James Gunn. Uh, if you decide, please reboot Shazam. Okay, like you got rid of Henry. Get rid of this goofball too, please. Uh, and like bring bring in a better fit for Black Adam and a better fit for Shazam. No, don't get me wrong. I do think in some respects, uh, The Rock, in terms. Mm, he could be seen as a good Black Adam. I think people were clamoring for that for years now, or maybe he was just clamoring for it and it kind of rubbed off on others. But I just, I wouldn't mind seeing, oh man, I I, I wouldn't mind seeing um, literally anybody else in this role. And yeah, oh, see, spit, this guy's spitting right here. WB's messing with stories and Levi's bad acting. So yeah, I do agree with that. I, I do think there are several factors that go into it. And I do find it very, very interesting that we get back-to-back -back days in which um, people people are using a particular person as a scapegoat for to explain away the the bad uh, <laughs> the, the failures that have been occurring at their perspective studios, you know, with Marvel and DC. But you know, whatever is going on with that. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think about Dwayne the Rock Johnson being super arrogant? Are you happy that he's out? Um, are you surprised pff, that he would even be, you know, arrogant enough to say, hey, no Shazam, who is the hero that I go against, no Shazam in this film? What do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll catch you for another one. Peace.